And joining us now is auto analyst John McElroy of Autoline.tv. And John, first off, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration has been critical of Tesla over this technology. Can you can you tell us why? The big thing that they've got a problem with is there's not a system that monitors the driver. There is what they call a torque sensor on the steering wheel, so they can tell if the driver's hands are on the wheel or not. But that doesn't really show if they're paying attention. So, for example, Cadillac has a similar system called Super Cruise. It actually has a camera that looks at the driver and sees if they're paying attention. Ford is coming out with another system that does the same sort of thing, a camera that looks at the driver. And if you're looking off and not paying attention, the system starts to warn you. It flashes lights, it vibrates the steering wheel in the seat. If you still don't do anything, it turns it off and slows the car down. And that's what I think that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration would like to see and also the, the National Transportation Safety Board, something that monitors the driver to make sure they're paying attention. So John, there are several vehicles with autopilot technology. Can you tell us how Tesla's autopilot technology is different than say General Motors? Well, pretty much what I just went through right there is uh, it does not have a camera that monitors the system. The Tesla system is quite good. It's very sophisticated. It has more features to it than the, the GM or even the Ford system has. Nonetheless, uh, there's been these disturbing accidents. We know in some cases that autopilot, that is the Tesla system, was engaged. If in this latest accident it turns out to be driver fault, well, then Tesla is not to blame for this. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what comes out of this investigation. John McElroy of Autoline.tv, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.